Hey folks, Karen Wolf here in the art studio this evening. How are you all doing? Um, I'm a painter and I teach you how to paint and become a better painter in an easy to follow step-by-step -step process uh, so that you can um, become a better painter or learn to paint, become a better painter and be more confident uh, and proud of your art. So I'm just looking to see here. Sorry, I get distracted easily. <laughs> Obviously, I got so much stuff going on here, tech things, and I'm trying to make sure I, I didn't look to see if my internet, sorry about that, my internet I need to reboot. I've, got, I've been having some technology, uh, internet, uh, cell phone, um, et cetera, et cetera, issues, so I'll get that going and see if that helps. Okay, hopefully that helps. All right. All right, so y'all say hey when you jump on here. Uh, oh, say hey when you jump on here and um, say hi. If you're uh, watching a replay, say replay and we'll get this show on the road. Okay, all right. So I've been a busy lady. I finished up the um, workshop this morning. That was fun. I uh, hope you guys uh, saw the... Uh, picture that um, Violet posted a picture of her painting uh, and it was um, it was great so it was great all right we did the hey Nancy hello again today hi Violet hey Violet's on here <laughs> I didn't know you were on here I hope everyone saw that painting that you posted that was beautiful um, if you all get to the point where you can't see me let me know if I'm a little uh, out of sorts, uh, well, I'm always out of sorts. <laughs> if you can't see me, um, see my video. If it starts lagging, let me know, and I'll uh, see what I can do. I'm going to pull you a little bit closer here, get you in. All right. So we finished up. The, see, there they are. We finished up the um, birdhouse uh, painting this morning in the workshop. And here it is. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, it turned out great. We had um, a really good turnout for the workshop. It was a lot of fun. Everybody had fun, and their paintings are beautiful. They won uh, gift cards, um, and uh, we had several drawings, um, and it was a lot of fun. So winning prizes and uh, um, ending up with a painting, and uh, this turned out really pretty. Love, love, love all the colors. We ended up with more flowers. We ended up with a butterfly. We added flowers up here. We had flowers down here. So if you missed out on that, I'm sorry. That was a fun one. Then the other night, did you see the the uh, bunny? We added more stuff to the bunny. We got it going on. Got a but some butterflies on there and so on. So that was fun too. All right. So I've got a mess absolute mess which happens you'll have that when you have um a bunch of stuff happening all right so we're going to paint i think a barn uh with palette knife i have no idea what uh kind of barn i was going to kind of do it just similar to one that i've done so um i don't know we'll see um something springy for sure I thought I had my paint out, but obviously I don't. I have an empty plate sitting there. So let's see what we've got down here. I like to use up some of my paints. So, all right. Y'all get snow. Everybody gets snow. That's craziness, wasn't it? Crazy, crazy snow. All right. So we'll just get some. I'm going to find some white. Always out of white. <clears throat> hey, Rose. Thanks for joining. Yes, I'm human. I'm about to put paint on the wrong side of the plate. I am. I am human. I've got so much stuff going on, and I'm a crazy person. I've got issues today with snow and technology, but hey, that's, if that's the worst of my problems, I'm all right. I'm going to take a little bit of blue and white. I'm not orange. Gosh. I don't want orange to be in there because it's going it'll gray my sky and make it look gloomy. <laughs> I don't want a gloomy sky. Is anybody else? I do not want a gloomy sky. Sky. So 
yeah, orange and uh, blue will make like a gray color. And I don't want that. All right. So, but we had the workshop. It was so much fun. It was. It was It was a blast. And uh, we, we did it this morning. We did, Actually, we had it all week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then today we ended up with it ending on Saturday today. And uh, made it through all the tech uh, issues, all the connectivity issues, all of the etc. Power outage, had a power outage this morning. Uh, so, but it was fun. Everybody did a fantastic job. I'm waiting to see some of the the rest of the um, paintings that folks are going to submit. I can't wait to see them. Um, it, uh, and I'm just using acrylic paint, paint here. Uh, is all I'm using. I'm just using some acrylic paint. Uh, nothing fancy. Um, just some, actually just some student grade paint that I have down here. Um, and I'm just using it. I may take a little, little tiny bit of purple. I've got plates everywhere. I'm just trying to use up my paint. Might add a little bit of purple to that. Just some purplish blue. All right. Okay. So I'm just going on here with my palette knife, getting some color on. <clears throat> and the palette knife has just been something... Uh, new for me i've been painting just since oh back in the spring or summer i started some flowers so uh it's been fun though i just like to keep it a little bit darker on the outside and then as i come in i just lighten it up a little bit i'm liking that purple really well loving that y'all like that purple that's cool that is so cool Yeah, and like I said, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm, I just thought I'd come down here real quick and just talk to you all a little bit and paint with you some. And um, Then I'm going to go upstairs and eat dinner and watch a movie, I think, uh, and relax a little bit. Had quite a busy week. I even shoveled snow today. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Uh, Joe usually does it. My husband usually shovels the snow. And I'm just trying to darken this outside edge up a little bit here. And I'll smooth that out some. Um, but he usually does the snow shoveling. And, hey, Kathy. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Vicki, do you have Jacob, or not Jacob, do you have Henry in your, if you're still on here, do you have Henry in your class at Sunday school? He's a live wire. Uh, good luck to you. Not Sunday school. Daggone cubbies. Cubbies is what I was thinking of. My little grandson, Henry, he's, he's, a, he's a cat bird. He's got a sweet side and an ornery, an ornery side, don't most boys? All right, so we got that on there, and all that was was blue and, uh, blue and white and a little bit of purple. Uh, then I'm going to go in with some green down here at the bottom and blue, I think. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm just kind of making this up as I go. Do y'all like it when I do that or no? <laughs> uh, I, uh, I didn't used to do that. Um... I used to, um, I would paint everything before hand, everything before I came on here, uh, and be ready because I was a nervous wreck and I didn't want to mess up. Um, gosh, going live on Facebook's bad enough without messing up in front of the whole, well, it's not bad enough, but you know what I'm saying. It's nerve wracking. Uh, without messing up in front of the whole 
uh, universe. So I would paint it before I would come on and uh, then that way I knew what to paint. Well, now I'm just kind of winging it. I'm just coming in here with some, some greens down here at the bottom. Just some greens. <clears throat> y'all like to paint with a palette knife or y'all like to paint with the brush? My husband says when I get on here with a palette knife, I'll just scare you. <laughs> he said, you better paint with the brush. They might, they may not like to paint with the palette knife, but I love it. But I, we have to try new things. You have to challenge yourself, even if you don't, uh, if at first you don't succeed, try to try again. That's the way I see it. Just whoever said that. Who said that? Anybody know? And some popular famous person, I'm sure. And I just don't know because my brain is fried from exhaustion. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Anybody know? All right, so I'm going just in here and I've added uh, blue and white to the sky, a little bit of purple. Then I did some green and blue at the bottom. And I'm just kind of going to blend the two together here a little bit. That's where my barn's going to be. So I'm not too worried about right here in this area. But I think I'm going to do, let's do some trees. We'll do some trees. I'm going to do a little bit of green. I'm working on my All Access Membership stuff today. Getting ready for it to open. That's exciting. So exciting. That's coming. So if you aren't a part of that, which um, Tammy, or uh, not Tammy, wasn't on here. Uh, Violet was on here. If she, I don't know if Violet's still on here. Uh, she is in that, and Kathy was on here. She is a member. I'm not sure if there's anybody else on there, on here. Um, and that's a fun thing. It's a, uh, I'm just going to do some, just some indications of some, some background trees back here. I try to keep it so I'm not in your, Uh, I'm not in the way, but whenever I do the upside down thing, when I do this, I know I'm in your way. And I apologize for that right now, but I have to do that just a little bit sometimes. So I just made a little line with a, just an indication of a tree, just to give me a, a go for a tree. And then I'm just kind of touching in and putting some trees in. Just here and there. Indications of trees. Not trees, really. Just some indications of some trees. And we got on here now. Drema and LaDonna. Am I saying that right? LaDonna. Um, so I'm just putting some indications of some trees in the background. Keep them light. Keep them really light because they're just far away. Little trees back there. I've got like four or five plates of paint here. And then if your trees in the front are a little bit darker, you can 
you can go with that because the trees in the front would be uh, closer and darker. The trees in the back are farther away. So there's some trees. We're keeping this green and springy because I know there's snow outside today, but ugh. Anybody else? It's okay. Snow's okay. It's beautiful. But I'm ready for spring. Okay. All right. You guys are awful quiet today. Y'all say hey or something. How's your day going? Okay. I'm going to dry that with the hair dryer if I can find the daggone thing. Oh, that was good. Y'all like that? Y'all still see me? Am I still on there? with my, I'm blowing all my little winners for my thing back there. I touched that with my hair dryer. Did not mean to. So now I've got to fix that. I wasn't paying attention. I was watching all the everything blow away. <laughs> Stop blowing away. Trying to get that a little bit dry so that um get this paint off the board so that it um is not real wet and I'll fix this later that will place up there in the top am I or am I losing you let me check real quick. Am I losing you? Okay, so I'm going to take some red paint and I'm going to darken it with a little bit of um, burn umber. I'm going to take red and burn umber. And that just tones it down to where it's like a barn, a little bit of a barn. Um, color. And this is similar to the spring barn that I did. So if you're thinking it looks familiar, yeah, I'm just kind of, I'm tired and I really don't want to I shouldn't even say I'm tired. I shouldn't even complain. I'm not really complaining. I'm just speaking. <laughs> I shouldn't even say that. Still here just watching carefully. Oh, great. I'm glad. I'm glad you're still here, darling. Nancy. Okay. So I'm just making a barn shape. Nothing. Just, just getting some barn shape in there. Just trying to. Make a somewhat of a barn shape. And I'm just getting a little bit of a, just a row of paint on the back of my brush. And then I just kind of pull it down. To where I want it to be. Like I said, I just, when I go, like... I want to. My arm is in the way. So I'm trying not to do that. 
Okay, so this is just an old rickety old barn out here in the middle of nowhere. Just kind of hanging out. Oh, there we go. The dogs are barking. Okay, so it's just kind of there. All right? No. No big deal. I need a paper towel. Dixie, stop. She hears something. Clean that off a little bit. I just took my palette knife and cleaned that off a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to um, go back in and get some more dark. Janet Rogers is in the house. Hey, Patsy. Oh, man. How are you doing, Janet? You just better just grab you some paint and brushes and have a paint along with me. <laughs> so I'm just making a darker color. How you doing? We're in the middle of uh, snow here in West Virginia. How are things down south? <laughs> Stinker. I sure miss you. Miss painting with you. Okay. So, um, then I'm going to take, like I said, just a little row of paint. You just kind of get it on there and then uh, just scoop it with the back. Scoop it, if you can. Scoop it and get a little row of paint on there. And then I'm just going to go a little bit dark down here at the top, down from the top. And you can take some of that dark down through if you want. And, um, palette knife painting is kind of, um, it's just different. And it's not something that you can be real particular with your, um, painting. I'm going to try to make a little window there. I'm trying to get some dark color. I've got, I'm trying to use up all this paint I've got on four different palettes here. So, so far I'm using a red and a brown. Up the top there, I used a blue and a white and a little bit of purple for the sky. Then I used green and blue for the bottom and green and blue for the trees in the background. <clears throat> I'm afraid I'm gonna And then I'm just taking, getting that, I'm trying not to get in y'all's way. Taking a little bit of this dark color that I made for my door, a barn door. And palette knife painting, you almost have to just like, just lift it up and move it around and put it where it needs to be. So there's a door. There's a little window. Okay. And that's the start of a barn. I'm going to do a little bit. I think let's do a little bit of a dirt path to the barn. A little bit of a path there. Brown and sienna. A little bit of white. There's all kinds of distractions all around here. Did I pull you all in close enough? I got stuff everywhere. Can you see that? No, find time for me to move you in. Okay, so I'm going to go, let's do just like, like there's a little, little bitty bit of like a dirt. Thing going on there. I 
Because you know, when you've got uh, barns, you've got a little bit of, you don't have all grass, do you? Don't have all grass. And we'll do a little bit of white with some yellow and that little bit of brown color. Just kind of pop that a little bit. getting a little row of paint on the back of it and just pulling that across. Just lightly, lightly touching and letting the paint just come off on the canvas. Okay, so y'all still there with me. Okay, so then I'm gonna take a little bit, need some more white. Use a lot of white, don't I? Y'all liking this so far? I hope so. I'm gonna take a little bit of white. I'm gonna make a little bit of a gray color. I got a little bit of green in there. But I'm hoping that won't matter. I got a little bit of purple in there. I didn't mean to get purple. I'm just trying to make gray. I just wiped my face, and I think I got paint on myself, but that's okay. <laughs> You'll have that too. So, all right. So we got, I'm just making a gray color with blue, hopefully, blue, white, and uh, brown makes gray. And I'm just going to use it... Um, to make the, uh, just some indications of light onto, onto my barn here. Just some highlights on my barn. And I'm using gray because I don't want to use white. So I'm just smearing that out on my plate. And then I'm taking a little row of paint. Well, that was a big row of paint. Let's get a little row of paint. And then put that on there. I went down a little bit far than I wanted to with that. Didn't mean to do that. Scoop it over, scoop it, and then I just go boop, get a little row of paint. And you, like I said, you can't be uh, worried about being a perfectionist with um, the palette knife. Because uh, it just ain't gonna, just ain't gonna work for you. If you if you're like that, it will either frustrate you to no end, or, and I'm just putting some lights in here in my barn, just pulling down, and then I'm just kind of scooching over it a little bit. I'll make this window. up here um, but either you're going to love it or you hate it um, that's just the way it is <coughs> oh I had that held up too high I'm sorry I, th I didn't realize I had you guys down that far I just saw I missed that on the iPad I'm sorry <coughs> okay I'm just getting that rid of that Okay, all right, and then when you try to fix things, it just makes it um, worse sometimes, so that's why I say that, because that right there, I just tried to fix that. Okay, so I've got my uh, my barn here, got it in, so I like that, got my little path, got my trees, uh, I think I'll put a little bit of a fence in there, just like I did with that other one, I think I'll do that. I'm not going to do the trees, uh, blooming trees, I don't think, but I'll do a little bit of a fence. We'll do that. Get some brown, not orange. That orange is wanting on there bad. Get some brown. I guess you could use orange if you wanted to. A little bit of brown, a little bit of blue, 
a little bit of purple just makes a dark brown color. And make some uh, a fence up here. doing it again. Where are you all at? There you are. Didn't mean to do that. Sometimes it just happens. And then the beauty of this is, is you just clean your uh, clean your palette knife with your paper towel. That's the, the coolest thing. You don't have to keep putting your brush in the water. And I just added a little bit of white to my, my brown. Just make a, a middle tone color here. Get it going on there. Y'all still with me? Hey, Nancy. Yes, thank you for that. All right, and then I'm going to do a little bit of lighter on this side. Where are you all at? There you are. A little bit of lighter here. And I'm just touching. Just touching with that lighter paint on the back of the knife. Just touching it across. Just touching it. And then I'm going to add a little bit more white. Isn't that cool how that just touching it across there makes that, oh, watch what I'm doing, makes that look like this wood, this wood. Okay, then um, I'm going to add a little bit more white, if I can find some, to that color, to that I'm, I'm not adding pure white. I'm mixing it with that color. Kind of over here. In the shadows on this dirty plate. And then I'm going to add um, even more white over here. Just a little more of a highlight. That almost looks like a aspen tree. <coughs> There's that. Then we go in and we'll add like um, we can do barbed wire or we can do like boards going across or however you want to do that. Um, just do. I can get that in there with some orange in my sienna a little bit to make it just look a little, a little rusty looking. Flatten that out. Get a little row of paint on the back. I find my I'm more quiet whenever I palette knife paint. Uh, if you if you follow me, <laughs> I think you'll figure that out. I'm a blabbermouth usually. I don't shut up. So just putting that on there, I'm going to add a little bit of white to that. 
uh, maybe a little bit of yellow even, just to brighten it up a little bit. Get a little, if I can find some white. A little bit of white here and there, just to highlight that. And one thing you can do too with the palette knife, which is cool, is you can scratch off paint. So there's that. Y'all liking that so far? It looks hard. Uh, it is not. It, I'm making it look hard probably because I'm trying to stay out of your way. Well, I'm not saying it's not hard. Usually when you do anything at first, um, it's a little challenging. You know that because you've tried so many different things, Nancy. Um, uh, because you, you know, you were telling me that you were trying all these different things. And when you do that, things are... Uh, hard at first and then once you get used to it and you learn it then it's not hard anymore so i'm gonna dry this a little bit because i'm gonna do some flowers So this is a fun one. But um, what I suggest to you to do is just um, practice. Just do something, just a simple one first. I've got several um, palette knife paintings on uh, my Facebook page. I'm also on YouTube. So if you go out there on YouTube, I'm out there. Uh, Whichever is easiest for you to watch. Um, Facebook um, and YouTube, I have pretty much the same uh, videos. So... Um, Whichever one. I like for you to watch me live here, though. Uh, that's where my new stuff comes on. I'm trying to do Facebook lives and uh, YouTube lives at the same time. Um, oh, there I go. My internet's out, isn't it? Hold on. But I'm trying to do uh, Facebook Lives and YouTube at the same time. But this week I've been a little out of sorts with the uh, workshop. So I haven't had time to do that. Because I have to set them up on my uh, upstairs on my computer and then come down here and do them. So uh, it's a little bit more. Um, but uh, to do, it's doable for sure. But that way I can go live on YouTube and uh, Facebook at the same time. So, all right. Well, hey, Chris, welcome. Hello, hello. Okay, but Nancy, if you have trouble at all, um, you um, just let me know and I'll be glad to, to answer your questions or help you along. Okay, so we're going to do some, um, let's do the green first. I was going to do the purple first, but we'll do the green first. Getting the cart before the horse here. So I'm going to take my green um, that I need. We'll get me a little bit of green. Maybe I'll get me a little bit of purple in my green. Give me a green color here. A little green, green and purple. Flatten it out. Give me a little row of paint. It's kind of hard to do that on a paper plate. Okay, and then I'm gonna make some um, some grasses going up. Just. Um, and anything that you can't do with the palette knife, um, you know, who's to say you can't do uh, some things with the palette knife and some things with the uh, brush. So there I'm just going to make some, just some little indications of some grasses there. By the fence. See how that looks like some grasses growing up by the fence? And I'll just keep pulling that up higher because I moved you guys down low and I'm used to you guys being up higher. And I'll do the same thing over here on this side. Just get some grasses going. Like tall ones. Some tall ones. Okay, I'm out of paint. But it's... um. It's a little uh, little different at first, especially if you're used to painting with a brush. 
But once you get used to it, it's not bad. You're enjoying seeing different ways to paint? Yes, there's lots of different ways to paint. There's uh, lots and lots of different ways to paint. I need some more green. That's a little bit too brown in my for my liking. But I love to paint, and I love to teach painting. I, did, I would have never in a million years thought I would be a painter, uh, teaching painting. Well, I never in a million years thought I'd be painting, for one thing. I loved it. I just loved, loved, loved everything about painting before I learned how. I just was uh, into everything, crafting and drawing and anything artsy. I was always doing that sort of thing, but I never did paint. I just never did think I could. And I was afraid to try it. Gosh, could you imagine if... I wished I would have started painting a long time ago. Uh, imagine the time that you lose, the years of, you know, practice and learning and all that that you lose because you're being silly, uh, afraid. So I'm, now I'm adding some yellow to this and a little bit of white to make a lighter green. Um, yeah, just being silly. Just silly me. Um, where you guys at? Uh, but then I started trying it. I love it. It is like so much fun. I love teaching it now. That was a kind of a fluke thing. Um, a friend of mine asked me to do a painting party and, um, so I did. And it was supposed to be a one-time thing. And then we just kept doing it and doing it and doing it. And that led to me teaching painting parties in the uh, Lions Club. And then over in the art studio in town. So I enjoyed that for as long as it lasted. That was so much fun. But then, you know, uh, COVID uh, dealt me some, some different cards. Uh, and here I am painting at home, so out of my art studio at home. So I'm adding a little bit more white, going to brighten this up, adding a little bit more yellow, and I want to brighten these grasses up just a little bit more. But hey, sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it was a sad thing that I, I had to quit painting at the studio, but it's uh, um, nice that we have the technology and the internet and I can paint from here. And maybe one of these days when things get back to normal and I can find a place, maybe I'll do it again. But they've already rented out my studio over there to somebody else. So, and I knew that was gonna happen, that's fine. <clears throat> I hope they enjoyed as much as I did. I enjoyed that, that area, that little studio that I had. That was fun. The Lions Club was fun, too. I'm just putting some taller taller ones going in on the outside edge, a little bit darker there, just kind of making that go in um, this way. Going to make it just kind of get that eye going in. Get everybody's eyes going in that way if you can. Instead of off the canvas. Okay, so I'm going to dry that a little bit more. Then I'm going to add some flowers. So painting... Um, just kind of um, fell in my lap a little bit there. The painting, the teaching part of it, I guess, kind of, uh, it was scary at first. <laughs> but after I did it for a while, uh, I really uh, enjoy teaching. I didn't realize that that's what I would do. I never, never in a million years thought I would do that. So, but it's fun. All right, now we're gonna take some purple little bit of purple 
go in with a little bit darker purple first. A little, I'm lighting it with the white, but I'm going in with some purple. And I'm going to just touch in uh, some flowers here. I'm just going to touch in some, like, maybe these are like, you know, gladiolas or something, or who knows what. Just some, some of those flowers that have a, they grow up long, a little bit long. You can make some purple ones and some different color ones if you like. And I'm just taking the side of my brush and touching those on there, okay? So then I'm going to take a little bit more white and lighten that purple up that I have. That same color purple, I just scoop some over on another pile and then I'm lightening it. See, there's my dark purple. Here's my light purple. And I'm going to lighten them up a little bit. I'm not completely covering them up. I'm just lightening them a little bit. Put a little light. But everyone, in my opinion, everyone can learn to paint. If I can do it, you can do it. Um, yeah, you just have to, you know, have, have the want in your heart to do it. And that's with anything. If you want to become a... Uh, you know, a great white hunter or a fisherman or a, you know, scuba diver or a, whatever you are, uh, if you want to be better at it, first you're going to be afraid to try it and then you're finally going to get past the fear. Then you're going to try it and you're going to be like, oh, well that wasn't so bad. I can do that. What was I afraid of? And then you're going to love it and you're going to keep practicing it because the more you do it because you love it, that's practice. And the more you practice, the better you'll be. So, there. There you go. This uh, little path dried a little bit lighter, or darker, I mean. Acrylic paint dries two to three shades darker, so if you think that it's uh, too light, it's not. It'll dry darker. Uh... As it dries, it'll just dry darker. It always does. I'm trying to get this lighter, but I think I'm making it darker. No, there we go. There we go. Um, but the more you practice, the better you'll be. Um, so just continue to, to do it. And I'm going to pull this up just a little bit so that... Throws that in the back behind there. Um, the more you do it, the better you'll be, and the more you'll love it, and you'll just keep doing it. And if you want to learn how and you need somebody to help show you how, I'm here. I got gotcha. you. I still can't get that to go up as far as I want. Um, but I can, uh, I can definitely... Show you the ropes. Hey, Christina. Welcome, dear. All right. I'm just going to put this up just a little bit farther there. Where I was painting on that. So I've got some purple ones in there. Um, but like I said, if you wanted to put like some yellow flowers or, you know, um, different color flowers or whatever in there, you could. I'm trying to find a clean plate. I have made a world of a mess of the one that I have, and I'm out of white again. <coughs> and I think one thing I see that I need to do is ground my barn. My barn looks like it's floating in the bag on me there. I need some green, and I need some blue. So to keep your uh, things from like that, looking like it's floating there, you have to ground it a little bit. And I'll take just a darker green, a little bit of blue, a little bit of purple. We'll try and do this 
without, I think I need just purple, more purple. We'll try and do this without messing it up since I've already got it in there. But just it needs to be uh, darker underneath and around there so that it doesn't look like it's floating in midair. So I just took some green and and then I was trying to mix that in. And look at the, I got white on my brush. Garly. <laughs> oh, gee. Need some more blue, I think. Okay, now let's see if we can do this. I knew it wasn't going to be easy because I'm trying to paint behind flowers. Okay, now get some, I'm just going to have to squirt some blue on my plate. I can't dig it out of those other plates. We got, I'm down to the, the nitty gritty. Down to the nitty gritty. All right, now I'm going to get some green. So I'm going to take some blue, white, and some green before that dries. And I'm going to blend that up back up in there. I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do. Y'all probably thinking, oh, she done messed that up. I hope not. So I'm just making that same color that I had to begin with, that green, and then I'm just going to blend that in right there so that blends back with it. And it's not... Just a big... Uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, because I forgot to put my shadow in front of my barn. Ugh, dummy. So now I'm trying to work it back in behind stuff that I've made. But you, you know, you do that sometimes. You get in a hurry or not paying attention to what you're doing. Okay. So now I'm just trying to make some more of that color because I was out. Okay. So now I'm just going to Try to get that blended in there. There we go. And if you introduce a new color, you gotta work it in there so that it's all cohesive and whatnot. There we go. All right. Add a little bit of white to Kind of lighten this up a little bit right here. Shoot, I need to take my jacket off and burn it up. It's been cold down here all day. And now I'm burning up. We had our power was out this morning and my husband was saying, worried I was going to be cold down here. And I said, no, I wasn't cold. Now I'm hot. I think it's hot flashy. All right, there we go, guys. What do you think? I was going to put some different colored flowers in down here, but I think I'm going to do the, the, the little spritzer thing, the little toothbrush trick, and I'll show you that. Okay, you can add paint. Ooh, I just threw that paper towel and hit the floor, so now I'm going to have paint to clean up. You can do a little trick, a little trickety trick, um, with the uh, palette knife. And that is, or not palette knife, toothbrush to add a little, I'm going to put a little bit more light on my barn. The barn dried a little bit too dark for me. Um, and you can do a little, 
Um, see what I mean? Acrylic paint dries two to three shades darker when you think it's light enough. It's not. Um, so you just have to, to keep lighting, lightening it. You just do. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to do the toothbrush trick. Okay? All right. So then, oh, thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Now I'm going to do the little, we did this this morning in our workshop, the little toothbrush trick. And it's funny, all the paintings, it seems like that I do on live on here, well, not all of them, most of the paintings that I do on here live turn out really, really good. <laughs> and I think, oh, shoot. I did that live. I should have, like, saved that one for my tutorials, but that's okay. I don't mind showing you guys how to paint on here. Hope, hopes of one day you'll just follow me and jump into my membership. Okay, so then I'm just going to flick, 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 flick. Get your, you go in and you get your paint really wet. You go yellow. I just did some yellow and some white and a toothbrush, and I just go round and round and round and round and then I do a little bit of just splatter that in there just to make it look like little tiny flowers and things on there. Isn't that cute? And see how my purple dried darker? So you could go back in with even some more white if I had some. How many times have I added white to my Palette. Go in and add a little bit more white into your purple color, light. It's just a lighter, very light purple. And uh, lighten those up even a little bit more. So you can see them. Because they dry darker. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. I love that. Y'all like that? Oh, here we go. Y'all like that? My battery's dying. Too neat. I hope you all enjoyed that as much as I did. That was fun. That was fun. Oh, Nancy, we're going to have to tell Heather. <laughs> she missed a good one, didn't she? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Heather missed a good one. Heather likes the palette knife. Violet will like that one, too. Violet, are you on here? <clears throat> I can't get this thing up. Sorry. I'm going to have to look at the sky for a minute. There you go. I need to figure out a better way to do that. That thing needs to be tightened up. It just goes down. Keeps falling down. Stupid thing. Okay. There we go. All right. Now we're back. Okay. So, there we are barn with a palette knife and you could do some birds up here in the sky if you want uh just take that and do uh like a a grayish i could just keep on going while i just keep on going karen and you could do like a little um uh, bird in the sky thing uh if i can do it with a palette knife hard to do with the palette knife, I'll tell you. Y'all see that? It's so tiny. Oh, I don't have enough paint on there. There we go. Bird with a palette knife. That's a tough one. But anyways, there you are. And that one right there is like a pterodactyl. I might need to calm that one down a little bit. So...
Now he's a real big pterodactyl. <laughs> if you do that and you need to clean it off, you can take your brush, a little bit of your uh, half inch flat, just wet, dry it with the paper towel and just scoop that off. There you go. All right, as long as the paint in the background is cured, you're good. There you go. Barn with a palette knife. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I sure did, I think that was fun. Are you using the same brand paint that are in the tube that's in the bottles? Um, what is in the bottles here that I have is paint that I had left over from the art studio, and I will show you what brand that is. Is um, it's the if I can find it is this um, Chrome Acryl Acrylic Essentials. This is what I had when I was over in the art studio, and it's a student grade paint, but it's thicker than um, most. It it can be kind of thin uh, if you get the blick. Acrylic is a little thinner, but this acrylic essentials, but this is in a great big jug. So what I did was I put it inside of these little uh, squirt bottles so that it's easier for me to handle. And Henry, my grandson, loves that. <laughs> he loves those. Um, but the what I normally use, what I like to use, is the Liquitex Basics. So I will use one or the other. I like to use the Liquitex Basics to teach my classes with. Um, it's a it's a thicker, it's a good, it's a student grade paint, so it's not as expensive as the um, hard body um, professional that li uh, that ba that Liquitex makes, which I love that for my commission paintings, but for my um, painting tutorials and my classes that I teach and my side of my membership. This is what I use. Um, but if I'm doing um, stuff here online or painting with my grandson, um, I'll use, um, now some of this was the Liquitex. Uh, but if I'm doing this, I'll use that. So, but you can use whatever you've got, Nancy. Um, practice on what you have. Use what you have. Um, and try that. See if you like it. All right. Thank you all so much for joining. Did you all have any more questions? Anybody have any more questions? Be glad to answer your questions. Violet, are you still on here? You will. Uh, you'll love that barn. <laughs> you'll love that if you're still on here. Um, yeah, that was fun. That was really, really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. I enjoyed that a lot. So... All right, well, if you all um, haven't yet, you wanna jump on the text train, the uh, text Let's Paint to 304-245-9690. That way you will be notified uh, when I'm going live here on Facebook, and you will be notified of any new, um, you know, coupon codes uh, for sales that I'm coming up with, um, and, uh, when the uh, All Access membership is opening or things like that, if you text Let's Paint to 304-245-9690, that'll get you um, notified right away. So uh, do that. Uh, a lot of folks have um, have done that, and it works. Nancy, are you on my text, aren't you? Yeah. Violet's on there. Um, I'm pretty sure you're on my text thing. Um, yeah, so that gets you, um, that should get you into the good stuff, <laughs> right? Get you into, um, just knowing quickly what's going on with, uh, my, um, my things that I have. When new paintings are coming out, um, I come on here and I do lives and I show you the new paintings that I'm adding to the painting tutorials library. Um, when I'm going to do a Facebook live, like this evening, I send out a text when I was going to go live. Um, just so you be in the know. So, all right. Okay. Oh, Nancy, you're not on there. Well, you need to do that. You need to get on that bandwagon. And if you haven't, um, gotten on the wait list for the all access membership, um, you need to do that. Uh, that is, uh, coming up. And if you haven't gotten on there, uh, you get a free gift. You get a free download, 
uh, if you join the, um, or if you get on the wait list for the All Access membership, jump on there. Um, you can also get on the um, text supplies to this number, and you can get a, that would be helpful for you, Nancy, uh, text supplies to 304-245-9690, and um, you'll get a supplies list. You can do Let's Paint, too, if you want, but you don't have to. You can just text uh, supplies to me once you get on there, or first. You can do it when you are when you do it first. It doesn't matter. Um, and I'll know you want the free, uh, free it's free, um, art supplies guide. So uh, it tells you the paint that I use, the brushes that I use uh, to paint along with me. Now, um, if you don't... Uh, you don't have to buy that brand of paint. You don't have to buy those that brand of paint brushes. Now, those Simply Simmons brushes, though, those are the bomb. Those are, are really great. Um, they last a long time. They're very durable. They have a great uh, smooth. Those uh, flats are smooth. And uh, if you take care of your brushes, they'll take care of you. Um, so, uh, definitely... Um, get those. Um, I think I, the, I don't know if I've listed the Fels Naphtha soap on that supplies list or not, but get you some Fels Naphtha soap to wash your brushes with. Uh, I have videos about that on my, um, on my Facebook page here too. So how to clean your brushes. So I'm just a world of information. <laughs> you just, you just never know what you're going to find out whenever you follow me. So I've got all kinds of stuff. Uh, that you have done, huh? Okay. All right. Well, um, I am going to get off here, folks. I'm going to go upstairs and spend some time with my husband. He thinks I'm a crazy person. Um, but workshop week is, um, I don't see much of him and he don't see much of me. So, uh, we're going to get, eat some dinner and watch a movie, I think. So you all have a great evening. Take care. I've enjoyed spending time with you all today. God bless you. And I'll see you back on here again next time. And, uh, we'll paint something fun. Thank you. Bye-bye.